For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who came to the Las Vegas Money Show and spent a couple hours with me in my session yesterday. That was fantastic. I loved meeting every one of you. Everybody was terrific. And uh, welcome to those of you who are new to the Fastball XRV setups. If you find something confusing, please remember, don't stay confused. Call me. And by all means, make sure you attend the Saturday webinars because those are a really good place to learn from the questions that other people pose, as well as from the questions that you submit yourself. So the first Fastball XRV setup from this morning was AIZ, Assurant Incorporated. This one had a threshold entry above this high in yesterday's trading at $94.40. Logical stop here was at $93.17, maybe down a touch lower underneath this range just to give you enough room to bleed back from this high and of course on the 9440 trigger we're looking for a move up to about $95.41 just shy of that pivot so it's always one dollar or the pivot line whichever one comes first one dollar being from the high of the prior session and in this case it was an easy entry with no slippage on the way in $94.45 on the entry $95.41 on the exit, just about a dollar per share on AIZ. Next up, we had Canadian Solar Incorporated, ticker symbol CSIQ. This one was a little bit less of a stellar setup than uh, AIZ was because we had this long period over the course of the day where we just had a uh, an accumulation range going on. And then this bump into the close was the reason that I was looking for a move above 1756 to get me into this. It only ever got as high as 17.75 before turning around and just sort of drifting around the rest of the day, just like it did yesterday. 17.21 would have been the stop down underneath this trading range. If it broke down here, I would have assumed it was going to run all the way back down into the prior sessions open. Didn't want to be part of that. Wound up closing this trade out at $17.50 going into the last five minutes of trading. So nothing really to talk about there. Minus six cents per share on that trade. Dayquo New Energy Corporation, ticker symbol DQ. This was a very strong move into the closing range yesterday session. We had 66.29 identified as a pretty clear stop level. Got you down under this volume right over here and also captured this range. And then this morning it was confirmed when the stock opened just below the Criteria price traded lower, bounced right about from that level that the stop was at. Good practice there would be to move that stop down a couple pennies. But then the stock moved up, triggered us in, moved 50% of the distance to the profit target, and then turned around and took us out at break even. So DQ was a money management stop. Remember, anytime we get 50% of the distance from our entry to our profit target, in most cases, that is going to be 50 cents. In some cases, it'll be a little less because we're looking for a pivot line. But in either case, you want to make sure you move those stop losses at the 50% to target line during the first hour of trading. And that simple money management rule helps you to avoid something like this, which is very, very different from taking a break-even stop. PLD Pro Logics Incorporated. This wound up being another dud today. We had sort of a very slow day on Thursday. PLD, we had an entry threshold at $63.28. And the actual fill on this one down around $63.25. Only ever made it down to $63.18 before reversing and hitting this stop level. So the stop level was at $63.54. Still a very tight stop given the magnitude of the trade the prior session. But we had this line that went right above critical support continued above what became critical resistance and then support and resistance again going into the close and pretty much any move that we saw going up above here I thought was going to spell an exit on this trade or a move up into the range. Of course 6370 would have kept you in this all day and had you close out flat so if you would have used a few ticks above this uh, central pivot line that would have been the wider stop on the trade. But in my case, I was looking at this level right here, and I just didn't want to uh, be part of this one if it started moving higher again. So on this one, about a 30 cent stop per share traded. And finally, Western Digital. I looked for a stop on this one yesterday down below $86.83 based on all this volume going into this closing range. This morning, I felt that was a pretty good stop level based on what happened when price hit there. 
right? First bar of the day, open, popped up, hit that level, reversed, went all the way down into here. Second bar of the day goes up. It triggered us in at $87.14, stopped us back out again at that 86.83 threshold. Actual stop on this one, about 35 cents. So the day was a mixed bag, overall positive, not by a huge margin by any stretch of the imagination, but still in the green. And hopefully based on today's market action, we'll see some really good setups for tomorrow's trading. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. It's the best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.